is the engine governor and this is the eccentric that operates the fuel pump linkage. Believe it or not, it came off with very little trouble. The second piston, in about the similar condition to uh, the first one, but the rings aren't as stuck on this one. Now, oh, we're working towards taking a crank out, so we've taken the cap off the main bearing. As you can see, it's had more water than uh, oil in. But the bearing seems to be quite uh, in good condition, considering. But the big challenge is to remove, or find out how to remove the centre main bearing. Crank pins. We've decided the easiest way to split it is to leave the centre bearing on the crank and undo where the bearing fastened onto the crank case. And as you can see now, this crank case is free and it's designed so the crank will come through the bore of the crank case. So it's just a matter now of uh, slinging the crank case and drawing it off the crank. And we then have to devise a way of supporting the crank while we draw the other side off. Keep going, keep going, keep going. So there's one cylinder off. Just let her down, No, we don't her over We've now released the other half of the main bearing. Barry's taken the weight on the crane, and as you can see, it's all uh, ready to come out. Can you just go up a bit, Barry? Just a touch. This is where we could do. This is where we could do with the aid of an octopus to uh, assist. Up a touch. That's it. Look out there. Back, you back. need to go back a bit now, Barry. Okay. If you're in. And out she comes. And that's what a, this is the, the oil thrower, the banjo that feeds a large end. This is a, a rubbing disc that forms a crankcase seal, it's a two stroke. And uh, you've got to remove the centre main now and uh, our man can straighten it for us. And these are the, the bits that are left. Very simple construction. 